Nung ganisang kison. Ilang kilo? Magkano yung... Ay, ilang kilo yung... No? Ang malaki po ay kalahat eh. Ang mali po ay one ton. Ah, oo. Oh. So, itidaan ko ang ta? Isang kilo? Kuno na ito mag... Dalawa ko mo. Dasin na lang. Apat na maliit. Apat na maliit? Four hundred? Four hundred? Apat na maliit? Four hundred? Apat na maliit? Oo. Ang tanggal ng gutom, tayo na dumaan at kumain sa kamayan sa palaisdaan. Kamayan. Yes, meron. Hindi ako kakiyat. Nakiyat ko na yan. Punong-puno ang tao. Hindi, hindi, hindi. Nakiyat ko na yan. One twenty, kau senior. Once upon a time there was a very lazy man in a village. He would keep trying to get food without doing any hard work. One morning while wandering around the countryside, he decided to steal some apples to eat. As soon as he tried to pick an apple, a farmer saw him and started coming at him. 
The lazy man got scared and ran into the forest nearby to hide. While walking through the forest, he saw an old wolf with only two legs. The man wondered how that wolf was surviving with only two legs. The wolf could not run or feed himself, and there were threats from other animals. But he was happily crawling around. Suddenly he saw a lion coming towards the wolf with a piece of meat in its mouth. The lazy man climbed up the tree to save himself, but the wolf stayed because he could not run away. But the man's eyes were on stalks as he saw the lion left the piece of meat for the wolf to eat. The lazy man felt happy seeing God's play. He started to think that God always has a plan set to take care of his creations. Then he believed that God must have something planned for him too. So he left to find a place to sit and wait for someone to feed him. He waited. He waited. He waited there for two days without any food. Finally, he couldn't bear the hunger and left. He met an old sage on the way. He told everything to the sage and asked, Oh, wise one, God showed mercy to the crippled wolf. Then why didn't he show mercy to me? The old sage answered, It's true that God has a plan for everyone. You are obviously a part of his plan. But son, you took his signs in your own way. He didn't want you to be like the wolf. He wanted you to be like the lion. Sometimes in life we can misread God's signs for us, but take them in our own way. But don't despair. Maybe contemplate about your life so far and think about what God's signs you have possibly misread in your life. I hope this story could shine a light on the more happier and more successful path that you can take in life.